How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna to be talking about a pretty big issue for Walmart Spark right now. I would say it's a major issue because it's probably gonna start really annoying customers. I am currently doing a Spark, but I have about 20 minutes before I could pick it up, so I thought I'd record this video. The Spark we're doing right now is just 1850 for two customers, 5.3 miles. And I do need to complete quite a few Instacart orders to get the Platinum Cart for next quarter, just so I could get some cheaper gas with upside. Right now, I need eight more customers just to get approved between the next three days, so hopefully we could do that even if they're really junky orders. Back to Walmart Spark. One of the main issues that I found with this app so far is the lack of communication that you can have with a customer during a shopping and deliver order. If you guys are delivering an order, you're able to contact them while you're waiting for their order. If you have questions about their delivery or their instructions, you could text them at the drop-off as well to let them know that it was delivered. You could even call them. But when you guys are doing a shopping order inside the store and you guys are trying to make a replacement, maybe they didn't suggest a replacement, and you're there sitting with the decision, should you replace this ketchup with the off-brand or not, you can't really contact your customer in any way to see if they would approve that replacement until the very end where you still can't text them. The app just says, wait here while the customer approves their replacements, which by the way, I've never had luck with. So for the most part with Spark, I do not do replacements unless if it's the same exact thing in a different brand or if it's the same item and it's just slightly bigger in size, I might replace that. But uh, let me tell you about a little situation I got myself into the other day. I was doing a two item shop order and one of the items was a mop head. The other one was a mop. Sure enough, they had the mop head, but not the mop. So I was wondering, would a customer really want me to deliver just a mop head if you need both of them to work together? I wasn't able to contact my customer to ask if this order was still worth it because if I was the customer, I would be pretty upset if they just delivered a mop head and I paid the delivery fee and I tipped them all just for that and I can't even mop the floor. So I contacted support to ask them what I should do and they told me to contact the customer even though there's literally no way to contact your customer during a shopping and deliver order or at least with my update of the app. I have so many questions. So anyways, the customer support person told me to contact my customer and I asked my support agent, well, how do you do that for a shopping and deliver order? Because I haven't figured that out yet. And they couldn't even tell me. I think this was a major overlook for the developers and probably just a lack of user testing. I think this is the most important scenario where you need communication with your customer. And it's kind of weird that they completely overlook that. You can contact your customer after the shop's complete though, but by then it's too late. So with the mop order, I just canceled it because I didn't want to get tip baited and I didn't want to receive another bad review for something that wasn't my fault. So anyways, that is the major problem with Walmart Spark. I'm making this video hoping that somehow a Walmart employee sees this and uh, they fix this issue. So make sure you guys share this with other people so that this video can get out there and hopefully this issue gets fixed. I do see some Instacart orders there, but uh, we have to pick up the Spark in a few minutes. All right guys, we got the order. The whole like front of my car is full and then the back we just have like two items but i put the bigger one back here since i have no front seat i'm just glad that the apartment's the one with the the few items it's not this big order that's in the apartment i will say instacart seems like it's been getting pretty fast so i think we need to switch up maybe uh try some instacart because i've been seeing non-stop orders that haven't been great, but they're definitely doable. And they'll definitely put some money on the table. So probably gonna be stopping by HEB instead of Walmart Spark next, unless if I still see a nice little order. All right, we took a $20 Instacart order. Gotta drop this off though. A little sussed out right now. The house I'm delivering to looks like it's been evicted, so interesting. All right, guys. Sometimes those big orders pay off. $5 cash tip. Now we're on our way to a super easy $20 Instacart order. As long as we make it there in time, we should be good because I haven't had any notifications yet. So $23, $24 order now, and we're gonna go do a 20 to put us at around 45, maybe a little bit more, 
in just under an hour. Oh man, I'm tired though. That was a lot of stuff. All right guys, we made it to HEB somehow. All right guys, so we just got a $24 single Instacart order for only five items, 17 units. Let's go. All right guys, so I just got a 27 Spark while I was delivering this uh, Instacart order. So we still have to make our way to Walmart. But yeah, it's been a pretty busy few hours, almost nonstop. So that's pretty sweet. All right guys, we uh, shopped that Spark order super fast and we're getting it delivered just on time, if not maybe a little early. I am kind of close to my house and I have to edit this video today and upload it today so it's 4 p.m this video needs to come out in three hours so i probably should go home and edit this and on my last order i kind of hurt my back carrying some waters i was delivering to this restaurant and i had my hands full and i couldn't see where i was walking and i rolled my ankle did some weird to my back so i think everything's just kind of telling me to go home right now even my stomach i want some food All right, so we ended up making $94. That's just some quick math. I'll put up something if I'm wrong. But uh, we did that in just three and a half hours, which I think is pretty good. Usually my goal is $100 six days a week, just because now I'm part-time because I'm doing other things like Amazon and more YouTube. And 92, I think is gonna be close enough to our goal because the other day we made a lot more than our goal. So that kind of makes up for these slow days and it makes it so if I'm close by home and I'm only at 90, I could just go home without a guilty conscience. So anyway, smash that like button, consider subscribing for some more content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next video.